Oh, oh, I'm filming. That, okay, great. Let's do a thumbnail. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Katie, if you've never been here before, or to be honest, if you have been here before, but you forget who I am because it's been probably a year since I've posted anything and I miss it. So I'm very excited to be back. So recently I was doing a social audit of my blog posts and my Instagram and my YouTube channel and I noticed that by far the video on my channel that people like you have watched and commented on the most, like by far, is the what's in my car video. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below and also you can watch it right here. Um, which is funny because that was one of the like lowest lift videos that I ever filmed. It was zero preparation and I just kind of stuck a video, a camera on a tripod and recorded myself talking about all of the random sh** that was in my car. I would do like an updated what's in my car to show you how much I've grown as a human in the past couple years, but uh, I moved to DC and it is expensive AF to exist as a human being here, so I sold my car to pay for my groceries. That being said, today I'm going to show you what is on my nightstand. And like the what's in my car video, I have not prepared anything. Literally, I'm looking at it right now and it is an absolute mess. It's not tidy. This is real life and you're gonna see it. Enjoy. Okay, so this is my nightstand. Um, it is a hand-me-down from God knows where. I have had it since probably my childhood and then when I moved up to DC and couldn't afford you know, the basics, like food and, and dog food for this little one. Uh, I didn't have the money to buy furniture, so I took this with me. Um, it's, I don't know, pretty basic. It uh, has a drawer, and there's stuff on the floor that's... Here, I'll show you what's down here. This is random things that I use in the background of my photos, and also a ghost angel photo from the 1800s. So that's... Uh, here. Okay, so I guess I'll just start on this side. I have my deodorant. It is secret um, stress response deodorant. Very important. And then I have my TV remote and my Roku remote, both right here. Um, my Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream lifesaver uses every single night. Um, so far, pretty normal, right? I'm doing great. Um, I'm going to move these things over here. Next up, <laughs> I have these two things. I just got back from a bachelorette party for one of my very good friends from college, Marlo, getting married soon. And uh, these are some accoutrement from the bachelorette party. She said, yes, cup. And then I love these. These are, um, let me see if I can get it to focus. These are fun Harry Potter themed um, sunglasses. Love, 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 love. Uh, there is absolutely no rhyme or reason for why they're on my nightstand, but hey ho, there they are. I also have a hairband, one of these little clear guys, a bobby pin, because that's necessary on your bedstand. Um, and then I have some bio oil because I have a few scars <laughs> that I'm trying to fade. I have some hand lotion. This is um, the Naked Bee. Um, it's really nice. Kind of smells like Smarties, but in a really great way. Yeah, love it. Got that in my Christmas stocking. Um, next up, I have this pillow spray. Um, I think I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, it is a wild rose and amber spray, and I really love it. Uh, shout out to my friend Vicky, who I copy most things in life from. I copied that from her. Thanks, Vic. Skincare regimen wise at night, I if you have read any of my blog posts or been watching any of my videos for literally any amount of time, you will have seen this. I still love it. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Um, I use this every single night and it's amazing. And then for eyes, I'm using the Belief uh, Moisturizing Eye Balm. Um, so those are my two nighttime Lurtions and Persians, if you will. I do have this Luna oil by Sunday Riley, and I really love it, but uh, I use it kind of sparingly for a couple reasons. Number one, it's really expensive, and number two, like you shouldn't use it every single night. Um, so I have this, and I love it. And I just noticed I have a very blue skincare theme, right? 
Another real life uh, necessity, I've got my Flonase. Allergy season has hit me real hard, guys. It's been rough. And I have this Body Shop Mango little mini uh, body butter thing. I love this so much. I'll show you how much I love it. It's almost empty, but I'm not ready to give it up yet because there's still just a little bit in there. This right here is my journal. Um, you can tell it is also commonly used as a coaster. Great job, Katie. Real mature. Um, but it's, you know, it's not super full yet, but I am trying to get better at journaling. Um, and then this is the pen that I use, but honestly, I don't really care what pen I use. It's just the one that happens to be on my bedside table. These two things, I think I know what these are. Yep, these are grocery receipts because I live a very fascinating life. Uh, Trader Joe's and Hairs Teeter. Yep. All right, moving on to some fun things. Uh, first up, we have a plant. This little guy, I have managed to keep him alive for over a year now, and I am honestly thrilled and very happy about it. So shout out to my plant, killing it. I mean, well, not killing it, living it. Oh my God, I am 100 years old. Okay, let's move on. I have tissues, that's not exciting. I have this thing, which I freaking love. This is a carafe that has a cup as the lid. Because I have a dog, love her, but she gets fur everywhere. So I knew that if I just kept like an open carafe by my bed, it would just be full of dog hair almost instantly. So I have this instead and these little sticks on the inside are just charcoal sticks that are great at kind of purifying the water and making it taste less like tap water. That back there is my white noise machine um, and has a couple settings I'll show you. So that's just the white noise. There's also wind and waves and rain and a brook and bugs. Uh, but I just go for the white noise. It's great. You can adjust the volume on it. You can put a timer on it. And it's also where I plug my phone in from. And then last but not least, my favorite thing on this whole entire bedside table is this lamp. I know it's a sleeper, but guys, watch this. Come on. It's a touch lamp. Amazing. Amazing. I can't get over how much I love that lamp. If my house were on fire and Luna was safe, I would take this lamp. So that's it for my what's on my nightstand video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, give this video a thumbs up and leave any comments below and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from me. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.